new end on the extension cord here. Nothing to it. I was trying to hustle and get it done before my wife left. I thought she actually needed it was going to use it, but she ran out the door. I had it together, and then I realized, of course, that I had forgot to slip the collar on first, which, as I started, I thought, well, I'm probably going to forget to do that. Better do it now, and then I forgot. So then I take it back apart, but I was going to show you. Obviously, this is a good long cord. It's like 50 or 60 feet. It's been nicked before. Patching cords probably isn't the greatest practice, but um, I'm comfortable with it. But I like this cord because I got it for free. One of the contractors working on the house left it here and abandoned it. And it's a really nice, long, and it's flexible. Like, it's easy to work with. But the old dog that we used to have, Doc, I think I made, I think I got him in a few videos, maybe. He chewed everything. And we got rid of him to our, uh, to my wife's sister. And then he came back to visit. And guess what he did? He chewed the end off my extension cord. So, got this little replacement uh, cord in here from Home Depot. Uh, I think it was like four bucks. Uh, super easy to work with. Inside you've got your white, ground, and black terminals. Strip your wires back just a little bit. Give them not even a half an inch, maybe three eighths. That's just enough to put it underneath these plates. But the first is you got to slip this collar on. So let me get that on. Then I'll get these connections made and I'll show you what it looks like before you put it back together. Okay, so there really is nothing to it. You slip your collar on first. Make sure you put it on the right direction. This is going to slide up. This barrel here is going to slide up over this part where it's flush so kind of like that but more but you can see your connections real easy they've got um, screw plates so you don't have to try to wrap the wire around the screw and then pin it down you just tuck it into the plate and then torque the screw down and so yeah then we'll just slide that collar which dry dress dropped slide it back up over the ends here tighten these three screws in the face and she's done all right well there you go certainly not a factory end but it's a good replacement end i like that this here clamps down as well you can get some cheaper ones that kind of just snap on, uh, but this one actually screws down tight on your cord there. And then your three screws in the face are nice and tight, so that's me pulling on it. I can't pop it off there, so that's great. It's a good tight fit. Obviously, you don't want to leave it out in the weather anyway, because it's not meant to be left out in the weather, but cool. I just got another 50-foot of cord.